You know, we have a lot of viewers in Nebraska, and we love hearing from you. And just a few days ago, Nine News photojournalist Ken Mostek went to visit with some of our viewers in Gearing, Nebraska. He went there for a homecoming celebration for Teresa Scanlon. The town has a population of about 8,000. A few weeks ago, Scanlon won a big title, one that 12,000 women across the country competed for. So this was quite a party. In the prairie land of western Nebraska, landmarks line the path of the Oregon Trail, reminding others of those who settled here first. I think that has made us who we are. Those people were hardworking, so strong, sacrificed so much to come this way, make a new life for themselves, and that's why we're here today. Nowadays, the people of Gearing prefer to use signs to say something about this town. When I'm back here, back home, and driving through Scotts Bluff and Gearing again, it feels like nothing ever changed. Less than a year ago, just down the street, Teresa Scanlon was carrying out groceries at the co-op. Miss America 2011. Today, she carries the title of Miss America. They say it takes a village to raise a child, and I think it really does take a community to raise Miss a woman. Nebraska! Teresa Scanlon! At 17, Scanlon was one of the youngest women ever to win the crown and Nebraska's first Miss America. Not typical teen with, it doesn't matter if it's the talent, the brilliance, the beauty, she's just uh, got the whole package, and I'm so glad that she's out there. <laughs> Teresa was about this age when she came to Robin for piano lessons. Shy and insecure, Teresa says Robin gave her confidence and a love for music. 14. Do you have 14 fingers? No. <laughs> the woman has um, just a never-ending patience, and I know she did with me. And um, again, she was never pushing me. D, D. I pray for all my kids to have a mentor, somebody they can look up to and Robin's definitely been a mentor. Her parents, piano teacher, and hundreds of others came to see Gearing's hometown girl on her first and likely only visit home. For weeks now, she's been on the job representing our country and the possibilities in a community. They each have a role in who she is and who she's become. They've helped me and encouraged me in every way, and I'm really excited that there are other young people in this community being supported in the same way. So here they are, Miss America and the people who dreamed her dream. The piano teacher who hasn't seen her since watching the pageant on TV. Robin, can you believe it? <laughs> After all those years of practice, she will perform again at home. She's a natural. I mean, yes. I mean, she's gifted. She's gifted. That's, that's true. God's gifted her. Yeah. Dreams have not been lost along the Oregon Trail. Every one of you had a dream for me, and so I've done it for you. Teresa Scanlon followed that trail, and now an entire town's dream came true for one of their own. She is very bright, very articulate. She was homeschooled. She has six siblings. She plans to get a law degree, hopes to one day become a judge and politician. Miss America travels about 20,000 miles every month. Can you believe that? I can't. Every month. So she probably won't get home again this year. So it was really special that I she was able over. to come You home. were 19 when you won Miss Colorado and you said being that young because she was 17 is a, is a big deal. Well, because she competed against women up to 24, 24 years old. Years so you old. have a lot of people that already have their degrees and are getting master's degrees and, you know, it's a little intimidating. Well, that but she was said very she worked special. hard to prove that I loved it she was ready for the job. She and her teacher still. Yeah, so. that's that nice. was a great story. Uh, very nice. Hello to our friends in Nebraska. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs>